So as some of you guys probably already know, I have already made a review of the Tozo T10 earbuds, or it was more of a first impressions video, and if you want to watch that, you can go watch it right here. Alright guys, it's me, Callum from CIR Inventions, and today I'm doing an updated review of the Tozo T10 earbuds. I found some flaws, I found some good stuff, but I just want to make an updated review since last time I did the review, I only had them a few days and then put the review up, but now I've had them for almost two months probably now. And I thought it'd be a good idea to put an updated review to know if these are really the ones for you. Anyway guys, I'm Colin from TIR Inventions, and this is the updated Tozo T10 earbud review. So let's get into the updated review. As you can see, they're the same earbuds, they do the same glow, they do all the same stuff as last time. After some testing, I have found some flaws, I found some good stuff, and yeah, let's get into that. On the box, it says that the case provides an extra six and a half hours of battery life, which after some testing, I would say is pretty true. Do the, batter do the batteries on the earbuds last for three and a half hours? Probably at best. I don't think they will always last for three and a half hours and you do have to charge them pretty regularly, but that's not such a bad thing. They are wireless earbuds and they do have a battery, so they will run out, of course. But for the amount of music that I listen to, which is varies on the day, but like it's probably no more than two hours a day at most, these will stay charged the whole week. I charge them over the weekend and they're all good which is awesome because I don't really want to have to constantly have to charge them or something just to keep them running and functional when I need them to listen to music or a video or just whatever I want to listen to. Also, I have found that after a while, the little earpieces themselves, as I mentioned in the last video, they slid out when you first got them. Like they would slowly slide out, but after a while, they will, um, so they will get a little, little bit less slick and they'll fit in your ears a lot better over time, so that's good. You just need to make sure that you have the right tip on and make sure that you put it in your ear nice and snug so it doesn't come out. That being said, I still would not recommend it for exercising and working out purposes because it still could potentially slide out of your ears. As so, if I put them in like this, they'll eventually, if I jump up and down, they would slowly fall out like that. And while that's not necessarily a deal breaker for some people, some people really like to listen to music while they're working out, so, if you're someone who's looking for earbuds to work out with, I would recommend these. Another really big flaw that's been bothering me a lot since I've been using these is that since I don't usually charge them during the week, they'll get really low on battery near the end or the case will almost run out. And um, if you're, okay, so let's say you're listening to music and your earbuds start to get lower on battery. Not really a big deal, right? You think, but when the battery on each earbud, say the left one, gets really low, it'll go beep, beep, battery low, please charge. Like that's not such, such a big deal, right? It does go over your music, which is a little bit annoying, but the problem is it won't stop doing it until you start charging it and does it on repeat about every 10 to 15 seconds. So you have to keep these charged regularly or else you can't listen to anything, which is a huge bummer because honestly, it's really annoying when I'm just listening to my music while driving home or something. And beep, beep. And finally, as most wireless earbuds are, the right earbud is the dominant one. So if you disconnect this earbud specifically, you won't be able to listen out of this one if you pair, if you took them both out and you put one away. The left one will stop playing music if you put the right one away. So that kind of sucks. You can't really listen to music with just the left one. You kind of have to deal with either right or left or just the right one. And um, yeah, that, that's a little annoying. But that's just kind of how all wireless earbuds are anyway. So it's not really the biggest flaw in the world because almost all of them are like that. Some other flaws with these is that it, it was just a little, it's a pretty minor one, but little lights on the outside i'm sure you can see that the little blue flashing light that's currently going right now or i guess it's blue and orange right now but if you're watching at night these lights are actually really bright which it may not look like it right now but they'll like start flashing on the wall so i guess that's it's pretty annoying but it's not the biggest deal in the world it's certainly not a deal breaker and yeah that's not something that's really gonna affect a lot of people but it does affect me or it did one time and it was pretty annoying and finally, I just want to talk about the charging cable, which goes into this little slot right here on the back. That's how you charge the case, which charges the earbuds. Um, it kind of, the, the case itself is kind of heavy, like relative to the cord. So sometimes the cable will fall out while you're charging it, which is really annoying. So you have to make sure you really get it in there tight and make sure that it's locked in or else it's going to fall out. And that kind of sucks. Honestly, that's not a very good thing when you just need to charge your earbuds. I like how the JLab JBuds Air have done it better because the cord itself wraps along the bottom and then you can just pull it out and plug it in whenever you need to charge something, which I think is a lot better than having a separate cord. But I do want to talk about some really good things about these earbuds. 
such as as my friends and I have noticed while listening to them, the bass on these things are actually really, really good. There's no like different bass settings or bass modes, but they do a really good job with the bass and I really like that, especially if you listen to a lot of hip hop and rap, stuff like that, that has a lot of bass that makes the song better. These will be a really good option. Along with that, if you like listening to really loud music, these get, well, pretty loud, so that's nice. But they can also be quieted, of course, just like any of the earbuds. But these generally stay at a somewhat loud volume and only get louder. So I guess if you like loud music, this is for you. But if you need something just quiet in the background, wouldn't recommend. But there is one more flaw that I want to go over is that a lot of wireless earbuds have a, like a button on the front. Like you see where the right or the R is on this. There is a button there, but this button is only on and off. So it's not really that useful. You can't like put in like a double tap to skip a song or a triple tap to pause or something like that. You can't do that with these, it's just on it. So um, that kind of sucks, especially if you're like driving or something, you don't want to pause on your phone while you're driving. So you can't do that with these, which is why I'd recommend some other pairs of earbuds over these if, if you're gonna use them, specifically for stuff like that where you can't look at your phone while you're listening to music. Now, even with all these flaws, I think this is a very solid, cheap pair of earbuds and they're only $50, they're a pretty good deal. And if you don't do a lot of listening to music or watch videos, then I guess these would be a pretty good option. In my first review, I said these were an eight out of 10. I would reduce that to about a six. They're not the best option, but they're certainly not the worst. And I, I would still recommend them. They're good. They're good for certain purposes. But if you're looking for something to work out in, something that has some more functions and modes like the changing songs and with the button and stuff, or just, you know, a higher quality pair of earbuds like AirPods or the Beats wireless earbuds, then I wouldn't recommend these. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I really wanted to do an updated review of the earbuds because I think my first one was good, but since I really hadn't tested them, I didn't really know how good they actually were. So the updated review, I hope this helps for all you people who have been wondering to, about buying these, or if you saw my first one and really, and like maybe you saw a link to this or something. Either way, I hope this was helpful. And yeah, thank you for watching this review. I'm Calvin from CR Inventions and I will see you in the next video.